Hello and welcome to Infinity. Last time when we were looking at gradients, there's a little bit of a problem that can happen. It's not always a problem, but it can be a bit of a nuisance. So I'm going to show you a way around it. Because what we did was we put in a new layer, so I can go to the pixel layer here, or I could go through the layer and new layer menu. And with this, it's initially completely transparent so you're not seeing anything on it so you're just still seeing the layers underneath here and what we do then is we go to the gradient tool and we draw it defaults to start from white and go to gray so i could click on here and starts on white and goes to gray which is just fine and then i can use that for example by just decreasing the opacity or playing with these up here. So for example, if I go down here, I get quite interesting effects. However, if I click away from this, and I then go back to the gradient tool, I can't change that gradient anymore. It's kind of gone, it's just baked into the layer. It would be nice to be able to get back to it. So if I right click on here, and I go down to delete, and what I'm going to do instead is go down to Shapes, down here. If I right click on that, then I'm going to go to the Rectangle tool. And if I draw a rectangle like that, then I can still go to the Gradient tool and I can draw a gradient on here. And again, it defaults to start off from white and go through to grey. And I'm going to go to right to the end. And see, it snaps to the edge there because I got snapping on up here. And I can change these by just clicking on the circle at one end and going up here. Or I can go up here and click on this. And there I click on one end or the other there. So I click on the, that white end here. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to change the opacity. So I'm going to click on that so this drops out and then go all the way down. And see what I got is a fade all the way down. Then I click on the other one end there, click on the colour and go to black. You kind of wonder what this is about. And that's because if I want to click up here now to the Move tool so that the little blue dots appear around it, I can snap to the edge there, drag that across there and pull this down here. And this is going to darken the bottom, but that's a bit too much. So what's going to happen here? I could try with the opacity. I'm going to start off, go to the Blend Modes here and just go down here until something's a little bit better. And generally speaking, Multiply is often a very good one for darkening things. So let's click on that. But this is just a little bit here. I want to adjust this. So I go back to the Gradient tool, and there's my gradient still there. So if I go to that middle one, I can bring that up or down and adjust that. Now I can say, oh, I got that looking OK, but I'm just going to now adjust the opacity on it until that suits. So you can see it's a really useful way of doing that. I can always come back to it. And also because it's a layer, I can turn it off and on, see is that better or without. If I don't want to see these lines here, I just click away. I can always come back and change the gradient again. So I go to the View tool. So now I can go, there's before and there's after. And I can even do things like, well, let's go to the Move tool so I can see it and select it. And then I want to duplicate it. So I can right click here, for example, and say duplicate, or do it in the layer menu, or I can just hit Control J, which is a good way of doing it. Now I've got one on top of the other, so this has kind of darkened it, you get the double effect. But I'm going to move this up here. And in fact, if I go to that little round one there and bring it around here, if I hold down the Shift key, it goes in chunks until it. I want it just that way around. I go to the top upwards here, I've actually darkened the sky a bit. So click away so I can see it. Click on the, this one and then shift click the one below it. And then I can click on the checkboxes there before and after. And say so I've darkened the top, so I've got two gradients in the picture. I can even go to one of these and say, what if I change the colour up there? Well, to do that, I can go to the gradient tool. Then I go up to this here and say, where's that darker colour there? 
let's change that color to something maybe slightly dark purple just to give it sort of a and a threatening look oops if i control z i clicked away there because I, I had the gradient tool selected i was started to draw a gradient out there don't want to do that so i'll click away and now that's kind of in there so there you go that's a way of using the rectangle tool here on and right clicking that any shape at all and putting gradients onto the picture to change the way that it really looks anyway thank you very much for watching